We are in the heart of the jungles of Maui. Doing a little shoot for a brand. Pretty excited about it. Um, great brand, that's all I'm gonna say right now. But I kinda wanted to give you a little rundown on the gear that I use. I think there's there's been a lot of people that have asked me that. I mean, on Instagram, that is like the number one question that I get asked. What's your gear? What camera do you have? What lens do you have? So I wanted to share with you guys the gear that I use, and maybe that'll be helpful. So first off, the camera that I shoot on. Woo, it is so muddy right now. It's kind of ridiculous. It's been super rainy the last couple, man, it's been the last couple weeks. So this trail, this trail is, uh, it's pretty dang wet. But the camera that I shoot on, as you probably know, because I made a few videos about it, is the Canon 1DX Mark II. It just kind of ticked off all the boxes for me. Again, as, as I mentioned before, just an unreal stills camera. Shoots amazing photos, and for video, it kind of ticked off the boxes that, that I was looking for too. So shooting that buttery 120 frames per second slow-mo, and just a, a full frame camera. So nice depth of field, and I can get those wide shots as well, better in low light. And also just shoots just amazing 4K and 4K60. So the Wendyx Mark II, that's what I shoot on. My go-to lens, or the lens that I use mo most often, has been the Canon 16 to 35 f4. It's got image stabilization, so that's kind of why I got it. Because I am vlogging, um, and because my camera doesn't have in-body stabilization, I went with the the f4. The other uh, Canon 16 to 35 doesn't have image stabilization, so went with this one. And again, because I shoot a lot of landscape shots. Um, primarily landscape on my Instagram feed. I wanted to go wide and the 16 to 35 I thought was a great option. Until just a couple minutes ago, I dropped it right in the river. Um, trying to get the, the shot for you guys just to show what the, the lens looks like and it fell right into the river. So, I am probably going to get the, the new 16 to 35 2.8. Yeah, I am bummed about losing that lens. Oh my gosh, I thought I had it balanced and it looked really cool where it was. <sighs> that sucks. But life goes on. I think this will now just force me to, to hustle just that much harder to be able to afford, you know, a new lens. My second most used lens, and I kind of only use the two lenses, my 16 to 35, and then also my Sigma 50 Art 1.4. I, I really love this lens. Um, I wanted something because when I'm not doing kind of the, the landscape or vlogging, I get a lot of close-up shots, a lot of product shots, and so I wanted something that was sharp, that would be a little bit better in low light, but would also really give me that, that nice depth of field. And so at 1.4, I really loved it. Um, the reason I went with Sigma over Canon was I think for, for this uh, Sigma 1.4 versus the Canon 1.4, the build quality I just like a lot better than, um, than the Canon. And I also really like the fact that Sigma is really sharp all around. And so I think I'm going to be doing a, just a review just on the difference between the Canon 1.2 versus the Sigma 1.4. Um, yeah, I just found for the, the price difference, Canon, that 1.2, you're really jumping up there. And so I didn't, I didn't want to pull the trigger on that. And uh, yeah, for the, for the difference in quality, for really getting down between a 1.4 and a 1.2, I didn't see that much of a difference or that much of a need for it. So was happy, you know, stepping down in price quite a bit to get what I think is is a really amazing lens. So again, I like to shoot wide, and then I like to the, that kind of medium focal length at at 50 has has really been kind of my my bread and butter. 
So that's, that's why I have primarily those two lenses occasionally, and I think in the future um, I'll start going more to you know, a 70 to 200. Um, that, that's what I'm looking to, to grab next. And also, we'll be coming out shortly with a, you know, which lens should I buy type of video. Because again, that's, that's a big question I get. What lens should I buy? So I think I'll, I'll be coming out with, with that video soon. So that, that is my camera setup. The 1DX Mark II and my two lenses, 16 to 35 and the 50 mil. Um, that's, that's pretty much all I shoot on. That's all I've needed. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other questions that you have or anything else that you'd like me to review or go over or any tips that, that you'd like me to cover. And I will make sure to get to those. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help. And I will see you on the next video.